This video shows how to uh, change your website ASP.NET to a user-friendly uh, addressing for, especially for Google. So what you see here is my uh, website, which I've changed to a user-friendly addressing. So what in the header of the browser are now um, the path of my uh, for the uh, items which I've written. So when he, when here is an item or a, um, a task, what I've done uh, um, a description of uh, changing US uh, the URL uh, path, then th the stuff itself is like here in the breadcrumb. It's um, the .NET framework path like this always written is front slash front slash front slash and that's URL uh, friendly user friendly and <clears throat> finally the stuff this website uh, ends in the uh, special item which I've written and finally there's a query with a with a number and the former stuff the, uh, the before this I had this one this uh, site structure in Kodoku, it's the Eng my English version. When I'm here in a folder for like, for example, like this, then I have here a default, which is nothing else than a list. And I have my details si uh, site where there are a page where are the uh, article and all that, the, uh, my th the things are written in there. So how does, how does the system change in that? And uh, you should know, it's uh, especially Google uh, really likes this addressing, where they uh, where where they may build up a better structure for your website. So this is the former. This this is the new user friendly path, and this is the old uh, path. And how does this work? I've shown it now in my uh, first. Let's have a look on my on the website or on this uh, structure. What we have to do when you want to when you want to change your website to this new uh, addressing or path uh, path and details um, structure, then you first have to go. Uh, you have to create in your website in the in the page. You have to show all the new page addresses. So this is they have to be structured in path and then the uh, item or the target target um, item and this is in my case for example when we say okay this is a, a, an item which I've written for let's say um, first I check what item is uh, that I'm always talking talking the wrong stuff. Uh, contribution article uh, yeah article so this is my article for my website and which says okay here this is the title or caption of my uh, article and you will see in the old structure there is nothing written like there I've written it somewhere there but it's this is always in the query string the query string in con conventional addressing is uh, you have this question mark and then there is the parameter with uh, called with in this case D for detail or ID and there's a number so it's always the pair parameter and the value and this is the website it's uh, the same equivalent as if you type type uh, the with in, uh, including the extension for an active uh, server page AS dot uh, spx so you see there you we have the domain and then the page and behind the page is the extension and then there are the parameters and the query string this is the query string and this is all scrap which I've written in there but when when you when we want to change it to this new way which is called uh, there's the path of my it's not a real path, it's the path of this website uh, of the theme which I'm writing. So when I have the, when there is the next uh, next article like this one or if, if there's a path itself, it's only the path and this, this is not a really existing path, it's the path of of the content. And this 
has to be done in this way that you that we have to write the new ad uh, addresses URL path like this structure in our new website. So uh, in the first step we have to change the output so that all the or that search inches search inches just get the new path. And then in the second way uh, this new pass will come back to our machine and in the machine we have in the uh, global ASA X uh, the, there we may recalculate the path and item or ID number to uh, back to the real existing data um, uh, to the file like this page file and with the ID number so this is we have to take, take uh, two or uh, even three steps. In the first step, we have to uh, do the following. We have when I'm here in my this is my project, my uh, global uh, codedoku.com or Microsoft uh, Programmierer. It's a German website. Um, <coughs> and then first, what we have to do in the in, a, in an output path, we have to change that stuff and let's say this is always the details page in my uh, example. Uh, there we have to change that I think that uh, should be usual for you too. Um, we have to say my new output is not the former one. File name la 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 la, la. here it is. Old S area page. Where is it? Give me a second. Once when you search something, yeah. Details URL. No 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 no. It should be somewhere there. Now when I search it, then we have the keywords title yeah and when we when we are in a in a website like this one and when we are there in a that's a detail page then you will see that that we have here some some links here then we i have some links on there and here and uh, some some stuff like this so in the detail page itself, or it's better shown, or, or in the list, for example, when we have a list like this, uh, so this is a list where all those articles are uh, in a running list. So you will see it here and here that the path is always changed. And there is a little bit better to see in the default side. The default is in my case, uh, the list, um, you will see there the list view says there's a lot of code as you see in Visual Basic written. We have there uh, the new path is give me uh, give me my path as a as a string written by the idea. Before this, I had this way. I said okay details, and then there is the uh, query st string, and there's the parameter, and then this the ID of detail. Now we have to do it the following way. We have to say recalculate the path of that stuff and then finally give it out. So when I go there into this definition, I've written this uh, especially for myself. Uh, so there's uh, I give the ID of the of a tree element and then uh, I calculating all that stuff and finally I give it back. So this is what you see there. I have an ID of a folder and then we calculate all those strings back and finally that's what I want to say finally we have to encode it so uh, normally the system will say okay uh, Microsoft will say okay take the HTTP utility URL encode so you're always on the safe side but you will find that there will come up some errors uh, which conflict with the web config so it's a little bit better to say okay everywhere th where there's a, s a string take a double so w if this is the main point if there's a space make a dash if there's a colon write something like this uh, your own combination and also dot is not allowed and then when the stuff comes back 
decode that stuff. So when we are here in our list, for example, then I would say encode that stuff, enco encode that path, and maybe finally make a query with this uh, query string where there's only ID. So this is the point in the, our first segment. Uh, we take here our uh, path and finally there comes this is now the calculated new path like this one and this is the title of the new stuff and there's the query string is the ID of the web page okay now there comes the pack back second part uh, when this is what we s we are publishing our new URL addresses and the, the old stuff is still working since we don't ta uh, change anything in our website uh, we have to recalculate uh, when the stuff comes in into our website as a request it first comes to the global asa x and that's like this one here you will find the global asa in here the c we have this first uh, function this is application start this is happen o happens only once and then begin request so this is the first point where your request bounces to the uh, or hits the uh, the web server every time and now when this comes in when we say the system will say if you have a real extension then it's a real file this is uh, like the stuff before then we have something like this this is uh, resources are uh, temp when you make the server caching and this stuff then you have axt so this is a caching and then uh, the what we have to do in there and this stuff is we have to ask uh, the following way like uh, you will do the same if there is a query string for example this is if there exists a query string then um, then it's a detail page so route my stuff to the to a new uh, to my details my former details page in uh, the root folder this uh, wave uh, character means this is the root folder these files are all in the root folder and then um, and then this is the file with including extension and there we have to ca calculate the ID details so this is the stuff behind the question mark and the same is um, when we go there uh, further in our stuff we say okay recalculate from the path which you see uh, calculate all that stuff back to the uh, to an ID of a folder and the ID area and then transfer that stuff and then af always after the transfer exit that stuff so uh, sub so the code will stop here and the server goes uh, goes on on that side it jumps out to this side and inside this new page there's a it comes in as as the way before so it comes in like this it comes in with the ID as it was before so finally we, you will see this is my new user-friendly Google especially for Google we love you uh, website addressing with a path and the uh, uh, site and the ID and this is it is beautiful let's say like this you see there's always the path there and there's always the, the stuff so this is really user-friendly and this is the former one which we which was written in uh, in those parts with a site and then with parameters and Google didn't like it and uh, I hope that you may use that stuff too the code is on my website uh, you may use it if you have the same problem it's written for in Visual Basic but uh, it's the same in it's nearly the same written in uh, C sharp so there's no difference and in this case it's web forms.